Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back again for another video as I give my reaction to the newly appointed head coach for the Seal Town, Mark Fotheringham. Yes, that is correct. We have got a head coach in now. We can move forward positively and we, you know, we can really back this guy and, you know, just see what happens because this guy comes with a lot of pedigree. I can tell you that now. Um, so first of all, I'm going to kind of cover a bit about his career, playing and obviously in a, as as manager, um, and then we'll 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 kind of I'll kind of cover my thoughts um, along with um, a few of the points that I'd like to make throughout the video. But yeah, if you do like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I am on the road to 150 subscribers, and um, so please, if you if you do enjoy this content, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And comment, comment your thoughts. What do you think of the newly appointed head coach for the Seal Town? Let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Um, but yeah, first of all, like I said, this guy arrives at the club with great experience of European football under his belt. You know both as a player like i said and more recently as a coach uh, and like i said as a player we did play three over 300 professional games uh, across five countries um played a spell in germany um as well as obviously you know born you know as well as you know playing in the premier league uh, as well um and yeah he he, he has And yeah, of course, he has, of course, you know, played in the championship himself. He's played in Scotland. You know, he, he's been around and obviously in, in his coaching, uh, you know, he has been a lot in Germany, as we know, obviously. Um, like I say, he joined as an assistant. First job that he got in coaching um, at Bundesliga side, Kaus. Carl's Rufa SC uh, in 2016. Um, then, obviously, one year later, Mark returned to his native land to take up the role of player assistant manager at Can Beef, helping the side avoid relegation the first year before improving to a six players finish in 2018 19, which is no mean feat for, for, for a club like Can Beef, of course. Um, like I say, that gave him the hunger to, for his next channel challenge. So he returned to Germany in 2019 um, to obviously go to FC Ingolstadt, um, who were you know under major threat of relegation. And despite proven results, the duo couldn't save them from eventual relegation to the 30, but made a quick fire return to the club in March 2020. And obviously guide them back to the second tier at the first attempt, beating VFL Osnabrück in the playoff final. Um, then Mark decided to depart the, the, that role after obviously Oral left that summer too. Um, he was offered the job, but he, he didn't want to continue with that. Obviously, he left, uh, and most recently. Um, Mark decided to, you know, accompanied McGaff to Bundesliga giants Hertha Berlin as an assistant coach. Again, a club that was in severe trouble at the time when they came in, having not won a single game in 2022. And then obviously when they came in, a run of 10 games that included a 2-4-1 defeat and a 6-1 home reversal. Um, McGaff and Fotheringham were Hertha's third manual duo of the season. Um, like I say, he's he's been you know he's coached you know players like Stefan Jovetic, Dirk Dirk Bayata, and Kevin Prince Bolton of course you know he, he you know and I think that this guy comes with a lot of pedigree and I said that earlier and I've said this I've kind of covered his you know his his career so far to date. I hope that kind of made sense to everybody. Um, now, let's talk about the deal itself. Obviously, he's, he's a proud Scotsman. He's 38, of course. Um, 
his contract will run until June 2025. So, yeah, he's got a few year contract there. Um, like I said to you before, he has significant experience in coaching in the top levels of German football. Um, like I say, guiding her for building to Bundesliga survival during the second half of 21 22 as assistant coach to legendary German manager Felix McGaff as one of his biggest jobs. Um, like I say, he helped Ingolstadt gain promotion um, and like I say, coached in the second tier with Karl Rufer, which I can never say, I probably said it wrong, but you know, I, I, he was in the second tier at some point. Um, and like I said, been in Scotland as well with Camden, Camden B for two years as well, additionally. Um, the the um, coaching staff stays the same in terms of Nancy staying on, Paul Harsley, head of goalkeeping, Paul Clements, and the rest of our existing technical staff um, at the club. Um, but yeah, I want to give my thoughts now on this appointment. Now, I know there's been a lot of negativity on social media, and to be honest with you, I think it is very, very harsh and very, very uncalled for. And let me tell you why. Because this guy is no fool. He knows what he's doing. Um, you can, you know, he's very, you can see he's very disciplined. He won't take any rubbish from the players. Um, and like I said, what he's achieved as well. Um, coming into the club. He actually has better credentials than the likes of David Wagner when he came in, Seaver, Corbett and Schofield. Um, like I say, and I really like this appointment. I think you can see he's very passionate. He, I'm really excited to see what he can do in the role. Um, but yeah, all the negativity surrounding him at the moment isn't really helping the situation. Um, we you know, we've got to get behind him and, you know, instead of moaning, just get behind him and just give him a chance because we gave a chance to every other manager that we've had recently, so give this guy a chance and I believe that this will be a success. I think that he will come here and he will succeed here. You can see he's very driven. Uh, like I said, I've listened to his press conference um, for his first interview at the club. He has an idea of the way he wants to play. He has a style of play. And it look, looks very, very promising. Um, so, I'm really happy with it. I will always back a manager that comes in regardless anyway, if I'm honest with you. I'm not one of these that if, you know, my favourite doesn't come in, which my preference, like you, like you know, in my previous video, I did say I'd like to see Carrick come in. But he hasn't. You know, that's that's one of those, you know, and we, we've gone down this route and that I, I, I just, I'm not going to sit here and moan, I'm just going to back the manager and see what he can do. Um, obviously, the game's come thick and fast now, obviously, back to league action on, on Saturday against Reading and then Luton and then at home against Hull City, I believe, isn't it? That is on the Sunday next weekend. Um so yeah, he's got no time to settle. He's, he's you know, he's got to get, hit the ground running. And I really hope he proves the doubters wrong, because if we start getting results, I'm sure the noise will quieten down about, oh, he's not, he's no good. This guy, he's not, you know, he's no David Wagner and, and all this. That is, you know, is not the attitude to have in my opinion. We've got to get behind him, like I said. Uh, but yeah, I like this. Like I say, I think it's an exciting appointment. You know, you see what he's done in his career so far. And we're just going to have to wait and see. But yeah, obviously, I do want to send him a big warm welcome to the club. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him in action, of course, seeing what he's about, what what, what style he'll bring to the table, what ideas he has. Um, and yeah, I think that is my thoughts on on the on the situation um it's just important that we've got a head coach in now and we know the direction we're going in because 
Had we have not had a head coach before the game this weekend, it would have looked a bit not that great, would it? Because we have had the international break to get somebody in. So I'm glad that's sorted and we can move forward positively. And yeah, best of luck to him, of course. I, I'm, you know, he, like I said in his interview, um, if anybody's seen it, but he spoke very well. He, he seems a very passionate, focused individual. He know he's no fool. He knows this is a, a results based business, uh, and he did say in the interview he wasn't here to make any friends, which I like a bit as well because the, at the end of the day, you've you've got to bring your personality to a head coach role because if you don't, you'll get found out. And if you don't have a clear style of play, it will just not work. And I, I like the early signs of what I've heard from him so far. Um, obviously, we'll have to see how we get on at the weekend um, and see and take that from there. But yeah, it, it, it is. I, I really did like listening to him in the interview. I think it was a great interview. And, yeah, um, it is going to be interesting to see what happens. But, yeah, that is it. That is it for this video, of course. Um, I've kind of, I don't want to keep waffling on to everybody about the situation, but... Um, thank you for watching. Uh, first of all, uh, like I say, please hit the like button if you do like this video. Subscribe to the channel as well. I am on the road to 150 subscribers. So yeah, it really mean a lot to me if you could help me out there. And also comment your thoughts. What do you think of the head coach that's come in? Obviously, Mark. Um, yeah, I'd really be looking forward to hearing your thoughts and obviously responding to them uh, in due course. Um, I will be back in a few days' time where I will be doing a preview to the Reading game this weekend, of course. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, have a good rest of the week. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye, guys. Up the town.